There are many types of moons in our solar system and beyond. Galilean moons, irregular moons, asteroid moons, but today we're going to take a look at shepherd moons. And no, this is not going to be an in-depth analysis of Enya's third studio album. Shepherd moons, also known as herder moons or watcher moons, earned their title from the fact they herd dust particles into rings, the very rings we see around the gas giants of our solar system. Quite often, shepherd moons also help shape the gaps between these rings, a few of which have been spotted pootling through the gaps in the Saturnian ring system. So how do shepherd moons form rings and clear gaps? As a moon travels through a cloud of dust that is also orbiting the same parent planet, the dust particles will be accelerated towards the moon through gravitational attraction. Now, one of two things can happen to these affected dust particles. They are either accelerated towards the moon, during which they'll gain more energy and move to the higher orbit of the outer ring, or the current orbit is slowed down by the presence of the moon, meaning the dust particles lose energy and fall into the lower orbit of the inner ring. It should be noted that not all gaps between rings are caused by shepherd moons, nor does every gap contain one. For example, the Huygens gap between Saturn's A ring and B ring is distinctly moonless and is caused by the gravitational pull of Mimas, one of Saturn's smaller moons and a part-time Death Star. The concept of shepherd moons was first proposed in the late 70s, following the discovery of Uranus's unusually thin rings. Astronomers Peter Goldreich and Scott Tremaine proposed the shepherd moon hypothesis in 1979 to explain the Uranian ring system further. Not a year had gone by and they were proven correct when Voyager 1 discovered Saturn's F ring, which had two moons either side of it. However, recent studies found that only one of these moons, Prometheus, actually shepherds the dust into the F ring, and the fact the other one, Pandora, orbits on the outside of the ring is just a coincidence. Want some proof? Look at Pandora and Prometheus as they orbit either side of the F-ring. Those waves and ripples you see are only caused by Prometheus as it passes by. The presence of Pandora doesn't disturb the rings at all. So how many shepherd moons are in our solar system? Currently, there are seven confirmed shepherd moons in our solar system, although there are a few moons out there that could well be one. Jupiter, for example, has two potential shepherd moons. The tiny moon of Metis orbits within a 500 km gap known as the Metis Notch, and the even tinier Jovian moon, Adrastea, shepherds Jupiter's main ring, although astronomers are yet to confirm that these two moons are the sole contributors to the ring's shape. Thanks to the Cassini mission, there are five confirmed shepherds keeping watch over Saturn's rings. We talked about Prometheus forming the F-ring a little earlier, but a little closer in is the A-ring, which is held in place by not one, but two shepherds called Janus and Epimetheus. Side note, these two moons are in what is called a horseshoe orbit, a truly incredible phenomena that I will cover in a future video. Within the A-ring are two gaps occupied by moons, both of which have been spotted in these gorgeous photos taken by Cassini. The Enca gap is cleared by this ravioli-shaped moon called Pan, and the smaller Keeler gap is formed by Daphnis, a moon so small it just about fits in the micronation of San Marino. Fun fact, both of these moons are named after Greek gods who were, amongst many other things, shepherds. Moving out further to Uranus, there lies the last two confirmed shepherds of Cordelia and Ophelia. These are the very moons predicted by Goldreich and Tremaine in 1979, and seven years later, Voyager 2 photographed both of them on either side of Uranus's Epsilon ring. But unlike Saturn's F ring, both Cordelia and Ophelia are required to keep the Epsilon ring in place, hinting there may be more forces at work here that astronomers are yet to uncover. Even more questions are raised by the rings of Neptune, many of which feature several bulges and clumps that could be caused by shepherd moons, one of which, Galatea, is thought to shepherd Adam's ring, but this is just an educated guess at the moment, and further exploration of Neptune is needed before we know for sure. Now, Sauron may have been forging rings long before you and I ever came to be, but it's the shepherd moons that are the true ring forgers of our universe. <laughs>